Good morning. Good morning. Could we together sing out of our 1982 hymnal number 525, three verses of the church's one foundation, and happy Father's Day, everybody.
grows and bears fruit and becomes a noble cedar. Under it, every kind of bird will live. In the shadows of its branches will nest winged creatures of every kind. All the trees of the field shall know that I am the Lord. I bring low the high tree. I make high the low tree. I dry up the green tree and make the dry tree flourish. I, the Lord, have spoken. I will accomplish it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Spirit, 
and you go through the cycle of death and rebirth. We all have our strengths when it comes to tending to these gardens. We all have things that we do well, things that we could do better, things that we don't do at all. And that is why we all fit so beautifully into God's kingdom. God's kingdom, like this prolific plant in the mustard seed that turns into a large bush. This prolific plant that serves the community. If we think about God's kingdom as this big plant that we are all connected to, we all have different jobs. Some are tending to it, pruning it, watering it, feeding it, making sure you cover it when the frost comes. Some of us are using it for resources. Maybe we need food or shelter that this plant provides. Some people are hurt by it. Perhaps they're allergic to it, or they find that thorny bit that hurts them. And some don't want to find beauty in it at all. But all are worthy, and all are welcome, and all are wanted in this giant, prolific plant of God's kingdom. So as we go out into our day and our week to come, as we reflect on the, the holiday of Juneteenth that is this week, as we reflect on God's kingdom in this world, think about what your role is in this prolific connected plant. Think about all of the different roles that you have assumed over the years. Perhaps sometimes you needed shelter and shade. Sometimes you needed time away. Sometimes you were doing the pruning and the watering. And sometimes you were just able to step back and admire the beauty. So think about your role in God's kingdom and how it has changed and evolved over the years, as we have grown and learned in community with one another. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Now let us reaffirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under the Pontius Pilate, was crucified and died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand.
this is the last day of having music with Ed.
Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever.
is an offering the prayer of St. Christostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace, and at this time, Thank you. 